Hi, this is Jeff Gearling. In this video, I'm going to show you how to take a Dell XPS 13 laptop and replace the SSD. Now, the first thing you need to do is make sure it's shut down, close it, um, and flip it over. Use a surface where you're not going to scratch up the back of the laptop uh, because you don't want to ruin the nice aluminum finish on it. Um, and to get the back cover off, which is how we're, how we're going to get access to the SSD drive, you need to use a Torx T5 uh, screwdriver. Uh, and the Torx has a little bit of a star-shaped bit to it. And there are eight screws that you need to take out uh, around the edge of the back cover. So I'm going to take them off and just put them aside somewhere where I can get them back in the same order that I took them out. Once all those screws are out, there's one more Phillips head screw that's underneath this little magnetic cover. Uh, it'll be right here. On mine, it actually didn't come with one because I bought mine used and somebody else must have already re removed and never replaced that screw. Uh, but take that out and then close the cover. And this is the most important part of the whole process. Uh, a lot of people will try to remove this back cover by prying up on this backside like this. Uh, but the problem is that there are some latches under here that are very strong and thick. And if you try prying it up this way, you can snap those if you pull too hard. And a lot of people on YouTube seem to be pulling really, really hard and they're like, Urgh. Uh, but that's not the way that you do this. Instead, you want to pry it from the front side of the laptop. You want to get a spudger or a guitar pick, some other plastic tool uh, inside the front edge here. Uh, so if I go into the front corner here, Get this under here. I can kind of pry it up a little bit. Keep going along the front edge. And then the front edge will pop up. And then you can lift from the front edge and you'll kind of feel it pop out. And then the back cover will come off really easy. If you pry up from the back edge, it'll be really hard because there's all these little, all these little catches that are very thick and beefy. On the front edge, it just kind of holds using, using a little friction. And there's a couple clips in the middle too. Uh, with that off, the next step is to remove the actual hard drive. This is the SSD right here. Some guides say remove uh, the battery, uh, unplug it right here. I don't always do that because I'm just really careful not to touch anything near the battery area or drop my tools or anything. But for extra safety, you can also remove that plug, um, pop it off, and, and that'll disconnect the battery. But this is a Phillips head number 000, and you just pull the screw out and uh, the screw will kind of just pop off there. Put it aside. To remove the drive, it pops up like this, and you just pull it straight out the way that it's kind of shaped. So pull it like this. Don't pull it flat like that, or don't try to bend it up. That'll break these little tabs. Uh, with your new drive, the same, same way, but in reverse. So you hold it at an angle, and you push it in until the contacts are all hidden, and then push it down, and there's a little lip on uh, the screw holder that'll hold it in and then put the screw back on there take your screwdriver and screw it back in don't over tighten that because you could break that uh, screw or the, this area here and then you take the cover and uh, just like it, the, taking it off but in reverse you want to get those front catches in, so I'm going to hold it at this angle, hold it up near the top, and kind of find my way to get, to get it on. You can see that the screw holes are coming through here. And then I'm going to push down on the top a little bit to get it to seat, and then push down on the bottom a little bit, and then kind of just massage my way around until all the clips get clipped in. You can hear them snapping. And once all that's in, I'm going to screw these screws all back in.
and if you have your Phillips screw, put it in there as well. Um, one quick note when you're putting it back together, if you don't get all the snaps in and if you don't tighten these screws just a little bit, uh, then when you go to use your laptop again, you'll notice that the trackpad does a weird double clicking kind of thing when you just rest your finger on it. So if you have that problem, flip your laptop back over, check that those screws are tightened and check that uh, the cover's fully snapped in. Uh, but at this point, you should be able to turn on your laptop and if you already cloned everything to your new SSD, it should boot right up. Otherwise, you'll need to do more steps to get your backup recloned to the new, uh, to the new SSD that you just put in. Uh, but that's it for this video. I really wanted to make this, even though there's tons of other videos about it, uh, to kind of show how to get that back cover off because a lot of the other videos I see people just using like screwdrivers and prying up on it and doing all kinds of things that could easily lead to you breaking your laptop. And I don't want you to have that happen. Uh, so hopefully you like this video. I have on my blog, which is linked in the description below, more details about the full process of replacing the SSD, including uh, cloning all the data from my old SSD to the new one and all that uh, along with this video embedded on it. So check the description below and hope you liked the video.